Fire Emblem Three Houses puts you in the shoes of a new professor at the Garrig Mach Monastery. After you choose a house, you need to motivate, instruct, and befriend your students in order to prepare them for the coming battles. But there's only so much time in a day, and to make the most of the school year and beyond, you have to use your time wisely. Here's what you need to know to maximize your time at Garrig Mach. Three Houses is broken up into month-long chapters with a story battle at the end of each. Unlike Persona, you aren't living every single school day alongside your students. Instead, you mostly have to deal with Sundays, which are free days, and Mondays, which are instruction days. The first month or so is a tutorial that introduces you to this overall structure and things like activity points, your professor level, and your student's motivation. And you will need to know what those things are to understand this video. After that, you're left to your own devices, and careful time management on Sundays is key to making your week and month go well. On a typical Sunday, you have four options for how to spend your free time. Explore, seminar, battle, and rest. Your goal is to end each Sunday with at least some of your students motivated enough to learn on Monday. Since the number of activity points you have dictates how many students you can teach, you ideally want to have that number of students at max motivation before Monday comes around. Exploring the monastery is the best and most reliable way to motivate your students. Every time you explore, you should share at least one meal with them. As long as they like the food, it'll max out their motivation and give you some points towards your professor level, which is how you unlock more activity points to spend. It's super important early on to prioritize activities that raise your professor level. In addition to sharing a meal, tournaments are great for this. If your student wins, you get money, a nice prize, and a good amount of professor points. You have to balance that with making sure your students are motivated, though. The least productive use of an activity point is choir practice since its experience rewards are minimal and it doesn't increase motivation. The good news is you don't always need activity points to motivate your students. Giving them gifts will refill their motivation gauges at no activity cost. A basic gift will refill a quarter of the gauge and a gift they really like will get you halfway there. Returning a lost item will also refill half, so I recommend waiting until your students are burnt out before returning an item you think is theirs. You can get a sense of your students' likes and dislikes by looking at the roster in their notes section. Giving gifts doesn't raise your professor level, but I have more good news. Fishing and gardening don't cost any activity points, and both will net you some professor points. Each fish you reel in grants a handful of points and is good for leveling up quickly in the beginning, while a good haul in the garden will get you more points. Plant related seeds, so veggies with veggies, flowers with flowers, to increase productivity. Plus, if you plant flower seeds, you'll also get flowers that can be used as gifts. Ash likes violets, and Flame likes forget-me-nots, by the way. That about covers exploring, but there are three other options on Sundays, and none of them are as good at keeping your students' motivation up. Battles are the least reliable. The MVP can get their motivation maxed out, but only for certain important battles. That said, battling is incredibly important for leveling your units up and getting rewards like money. I usually save my battles for the last Sunday of the month when there's no instruction the following Monday. On normal difficulty, you can grind out the battles that don't take an activity point to get the most out of a battle day. That leaves seminars and resting. Seminars are great for improving your students' skills as well as your own, and they refill half the motivation gauge for those who attend. Resting has the benefit of repairing that powerful sword you get early on, but it only refills a quarter of the motivation gauge. Neither option is going to get students to full motivation in one go, which limits the number of times you can instruct them on Mondays. This is where recruiting comes in. I highly recommend recruiting students from other houses for a number of reasons, but as far as time management goes, it helps to have an A team and a B team for your Monday instruction time. If your class size is at least double your activity points, you can spend a Sunday, say, battling and still have a pool of people to teach on the following Monday. I was hesitant to recruit people during my first playthrough, but it really only has benefits, so try to recruit the characters you're interested in as soon as possible. No spoilers, but if you're not in the Black Eagles, I'd recommend going for Dorothea, who is the perfect candidate for a dance situation later in the school year. The school year is, after all, just one year, so it's important to make the most of it before the real battles arrive. Time management is hard, but hopefully these tips help make the school calendar a little less stressful. And if you have any other time maximizing ideas, please let us know in the comments for our next playthrough.